So that's a that's a, that's a puzzle. These cooking puzzle pieces. No, nah, hell no. Nah, one damn. puzzle sandwich coming right up. What the f is that? Puzzle burger. So I could go figure that it out. That better not be no fing real. Somebody bro. said McRib. What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another bitch of the day, you feel me? All right, we're gonna check out American foods that are banned in other countries. So. American foods. Yeah, so it's gonna be very interesting to see what foods are banned in certain countries. Obviously, you know, American standards to yeah. what we eat is very different from around the world. They a lot of the stuff they don't allow. So we're gonna see what you playing food that American group. stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah what that Coca Cola? Mm. Y'all <laughs> side. Clean. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So uh let's see. Someone said myth myth American. Mimfrican. Mimfrican. food. All right, let's get into this one, man. Food. But that belief may not be. What the fuck was that? Oh, Lego oh. blocks. That's a puzzle, bro. Wait a minute. Myth of clean food. But that's a that's a that's a, that's a puzzle. These niggas cooking puzzle pieces. Dog, what? hell no. Nah, One damn. puzzle sandwich coming right up. What the fuck is that? Puzzle burger. So I could go figure that it out. That better not be no fucking real. Somebody bro. said McRib. That can't be no McRib, bro. Fun fact, I've never had a McRib before. I've never had one. Never had one. Every time, they, if... every time they, they drop them at McDonald's, I just, I never, just had the urge to get them. I know a lot of people love them. But that... I don't think I don't know if I've had one. I'm, I that's definitely a McRib. You say Roblox pieces. <laughs> that, that's, somebody said that's mix something. Mix yes. something, bro. Oh my god. That belief may not hold up to scrutiny. From unsanitary practices and mass production to the addition of dangerous chemicals, yep. countries have good reason to give the side eye to imported foods claiming <laughs> to be USDA. That approved. infamous clip. That's right. This week we're talking about American foods that have been banned oh, by other countries. Mm -hmm. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History Food. But Coke don't give a fuck. They got a country that's gonna supply them money for the end oh, of yeah. time. Listen, we they don't need you, niggas. That's fine. Go crazy. Oh, we need you. What? Y'all don't drink Coke? Nigga, don't give a fuck. We got our own people. We got our own people. These niggas give the babies as soon as they born Coca Cola. Like, we, nigga, we good. We give drop, a fuck. Drop a little bit of that in they, they uh, milk. Yeah, bro, we don't give a fuck. Get them adjusted. Then leave a comment and tell us what other world food facts you would like to know more about. Now let's see how wrong the rest uh. of the world really is. What? Uh oh. And I like Since Skittles, the man. Dawn Skittles of Skittles, good candy. There have been yeah. rumors about the dangers of eating them. Whoa, Every wait a minute. One of us heard at least one classmate claim that the red ones make you sterile, and the yellow ones, they give you cancer. What? Turns out, it might be worse than that. What? First of all, your classmate wasn't wrong. The dyes known as yellow five and yellow six have been linked to hives and hyperactivity uh, yeah. in children. The dye. Sweden and Norway have uh. banned the candies out of concern. The European Union will most likely be banning Skittles at the end of the year, having already swapped out some of the dye for more natural flavors. This is because of something called titanium dioxide, which can be found making the colors pop across the rainbow. Research linked titanium dioxide to damaged DNA, which can lead to cancer. While Whoa. Europe may be ahead of the Skittles awareness curve, America is quickly catching up. In May of 2021, the Environmental Working Group asked the FDA to categorize titanium dioxide as toxic. And yes, before you Damn. ask, right now the FDA says it's okay to consume some of that chemical compound. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> these oh, niggas. Damn. Not even to mess it up. I don't, oh. know, I don't know if I want to watch this video, but it's going to start oh, messing up. Oh, bro. I didn't know that. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're finding out, y'all. So if you uh, willingly go to a store, you got to think about that. Wait a minute. This nigga got some vibranium in his <laughs> He said vibranium. <laughs> Hold on, am I, I going to turn into Wolverine? Vibranium, vibranium is supposed to help, not... Well, you know, it was hurting him at the end because as he got older, the vibranium was actually killing all of them. Yeah. Or is that... I'm thinking... Is that the same stuff, uh, material? I'm thinking that's Wait, what no, Logan had. You talking about, you talking about no. Black Panther, bro. Yeah, my bad. Oh, what was the, the other one in, in Logan? In Wolverine? Adam um, There we go, there we go. There what was we go. It, what's Adam the name Manning. of it? Adamantium. There yeah. we go. I got it confused. 
Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you can taste rain. the rainbow, but just in moderation. That's California is home to an ongoing lawsuit against Mars Inc., the parent company of Skittles. Oh. The lawsuit claims Skittles are not only toxic, but are unfit for human consumption. Whoa. So maybe for now, play it safe. Just go have some Swedish fish instead. Huh? Hell no. Oh, well, I've heard about bread, but I what, what they about to say? Ever she looked said, at I've a heard about crusty bread. French baguette, be it in cartoon or in real life? But let's be honest, it was probably in the hands of Pepe Le Pew. And <laughs> hey, my boy, they canceled Pepe Le Pew, man, because... As great as we talk about the invention of sliced bread, a lot of European countries have actually banned much of what you'd find on America's wide, wide grocer shelves. Wow. And that's because we make a lot of our bread, not just with grain, but with a variety snack pack's worth of additives. Oh. Like azodicarbonamide, huh? for example, which helps bleach flour and strengthen dough. Fun fact about azodicarbonamide, it's also used in a spectrum of industrial products, including mm -hmm. yoga mats. Mmm, downward dogs. The European Union is really against Damn. the idea of its citizens eating yoga mat material and has banned their use in food products. Damn, we just bro. not finna slide past that. Like, it ain't everything ain't got bread in it. Damn, bro. So we can't, we can't make, we can't eat, make a sandwich? Damn. Damn, that's yeah, that's 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 kind of wild, bro. We we can't even make a ham and cheese sandwich at home. You gotta be careful with that. that Damn, is wild. Yeah, obviously pork. Pork, the other white meat, yeah. is a staple of American meats, along with chicken, fish, and beef. From bacon to ham, hot dogs to pork chops. Love me some bacon. American I don't eat it all the time, though. Consume about sixty-seven pounds of pig per person a year. So we eat. My heart is stopping. Oh, Don't get us wrong. Other nations indulge in swine just as much, if not more. Swine, than my brother. Hold on, I think it's it's lagging a little bit. The stream. Swine, my brother. Yeah, the stream. It's like it, it lags a little bit. Like it, it it slows down a little bit, and then it kind of speeds up to normal speed. So mm. I'm gonna try to monitor that. Is it the if video or the whole stream? The, like the whole stream, like the video and the stream at the same time. Uh, is it, yeah, has it been lagging, lagging a, a lot for y'all? Someone said, yeah, it's been like, oh, Pit Dog said it's been lagging. Hold on, man. Let me see if it uh, does it again when I play the video. So why doesn't the U.S. export scores of succulent bacon-bearing boars? Well, it turns out America adds a lot of chemicals during processing. That sounds about right. Ractopamine in particular what? is used in many pig food. Ractopamine? That sounds bad. <laughs> sounds like, you, yeah. sound like you're putting some rat juices. Right. Ractopamine. This nigga's is cooking up pork with rat. Oh, Lord. And then adding pamine at the end. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Farms to raise porkier porkers. Ractopamine, Porky which we porkers. put a dash of in a lot of foods, has been Speeds banned in 160 metabolism. countries, which all consider the drug unsafe for human consumption. This, in turn, has led to a prohibition of pork exports across the world. The EU hasn't touched the stuff since outlawing ractopamine in 2009. Damn. China and Russia have been ractopamine-less since 2013. Maybe that's because ractopamine has the same effects as an intoxicant on humans and can cause tachycardia, headaches, and muscle spasms oh. if consumed in large enough quantities. Oh. But it is a small price to pay for a perfect piece of the pork. <laughs> oh, chicken, yep. Hygiene in America often comes down to dousing stuff in a chlorine bath and calling it FDA approved. <laughs> and chicken is no exception. Dousing it in a chlorine bath. Or PRTs refer to the use of different chemicals to destroy harmful microbes on raw meat. Somewhere along the line, American food regulators decided a quick chlorine shock was the best way to kill salmonella and other bacteria on uncooked poultry. Mmm, mmm, chlorine marinade. <laughs> and look, it's not that the EU is a Now, you know what's crazy? I had some wings yesterday. I just had some chicken during the yeah. beginning of the stream. Just cooked. Uh, damn. Bone apple teat. Hey, them wings was hidden too. You know the the buy one get one uh half off at Buffalo Wild Wings every oh, Tuesday. You got some? Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. them hoes, boy. Them yeah. twelve wings was 
Hey, bro. You can't do that on the chicken, bro. I'm sorry. You can't. You, 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 you control the chicken, you control us. So. Yes, it's taking a long gulp from the public pool now and then. In fact, the risks posed by chlorine consumption are relatively low. The bigger concern is that the chlorine baths are just an eye-burning band-aid on a larger problem. The tip of the beak, so to speak. They're worried that the PRTs are insufficient to deal with more than just the normal bacteria and don't get at a potential contamination from things like low quality feed to unsanitary coops on farms. The EU called the chlorine rinse an easy fix, arguing no chemical rinse will ever remove all bacteria from meat heavily contaminated as a result of poor hygiene. That hurts extra to hear it from the French. Damn. Oh, not the Mountain Dew. Oh, man. Mountain Dew is the closest any soft drink has come <laughs> to being fully weaponized. But did you know in Austria and weaponized. Norway, the soda is outright banned? Damn. And that's because Mountain Dew's signature Chernobyl Radiant Hue comes from Tartrazine. Chernobyl also known Radiant. As Yellow 5. And if your ADHD <laughs> hasn't kicked in yet, You'll remember that color and number from the Skittles section earlier. Uh, it's been linked to headaches, hyperactivity, and the desire to be annoying to other people. Ironically, the quality. Wow. <laughs> you know what? And that's why Call of Duty at one point was putting codes in the Mountain Dew caps to get people to buy Mountain Dew uh, to get the gaming codes to rank up. And yeah. uh, then they were becoming more annoying. <laughs> That's oh man! Oh, this mind is all, it's mind all blown. the big scheme for the money, bro. Uh, Does it make Mountain Dew a soda non gratis in other countries? Is exactly what the brand promotes: a frenetic, overcaffeinated lifestyle. Do the do, do the Baja do. Blast. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. Ooh. That Baja Blast. Yeah, that Baja Blast. Yeah. Oh, yeah bro. The Baja Blast. I ain't gonna hold you. That's probably one of the best drinks Mountain Dew has ever put out, bro. That Baja Blast. It's yeah. it's it's hard to not. You know what I'm saying? It's ah. so just drink it moderately, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, I haven't had a time. Bob. I mean no, you gotta go to Taco Bell to, you know. Well, no, I think they do serve them in the bottles as well, but most of the time they, you know, it's the easiest way to go get it at Taco Bell. So yeah. frozen. Damn. Bread, yeah. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. And while you might be able to find Mountain Dew in Europe it's going to hit a little different. That's because Europe spent exactly two years in the 90s riding the dew before discontinuing it. What is being sold as Mountain Dew in the EU as a recipe closer to the original carbonated beverage, as Unique created dew. by Tennessee beverage bottlers Barney and Ollie Hartman in the 1940s. The original Mountain Dew was meant as a whiskey mixer. What? The name coming from the affectionate Scottish term for moonshine. Whoa. It'll tickle your innards, is what the old ads used to read. No lies detected here. Yahoo! Mountain Dew! <laughs> Damn! Damn. Oh, not the... Little oh, Debbie, no. no! Little Debbie has been providing Americans with comfort snack food uh, since the 1960s. Yeah, they with have. a variety of zebra cakes, uh, star crunches, cakes, nutty boy, bars, yeah. fudge rounds, yeah. and star cosmic crunches. brownies. The cosmic but their big claim to fame, as anyone who has ever had their lunch packed by a parent can attest, is the Little Debbie Swiss Rolls. Mm -hmm. A mixture Swiss of roll, rich man. chocolate cake Ooh. and butter creamy filling. Little, little, little Over 900 fire, million man. cartons of Little Debbie products are shipped each year. But none of those cartons go Debbie, anywhere oh, the near oatmeal Austria pies. or Norway. Blame those rascally additives, yellow 5 and red 40. Uh, Man, what the Swiss fuck? rolls contain 32 milligrams of dye per product. And in those... Well, basically, everybody bra bracken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got that red 40 in us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, bro. That mother, was bracken, what? <laughs> Little Debbie, though, bro. Hey, that's... Little Debbie was bracken out here, man. Oatmeal pie make you happy, don't it? <laughs> yeah. Quantities, they've been shown to have an adverse effect on children. Oh, and we're damn. not just talking about causing hyperactivity. Although one study found that cutting all artificial food coloring from diets may be one half as effective as prescribing kids Ritalin. Oh. And while we can't prove there's a direct connection between artificial food coloring and wow. cancer, they do cause damage to white blood cells, causing them to mutate after only three hours. What? Exposure to these dyes could cause tumor cells to multiply way more rapidly. For that reason, researchers say a high chronic intake of food colorings throughout the entire life is not advisable. If only they weren't so delicious. Well, uh, Surprisingly, uh, you can buy Little Debbie Swiss Rolls in the EU. 
but they come with warning labels advising parents of the potential dangers. Damn! You know, like Why cigarettes. Are smoking cause yeah, yeah, they damn. Come on, little Debbie. They don't give a fuck about us in America, nigga. Oh, they, they don't. <laughs> no. Why this shit? Go to the store now and find that's, it on the shelf. That's okay. <laughs> when you hear the words uh, the, banned breakfast cereal, you're probably imagining one of the countless kid-focused brands of sugary morsels. Uh oh. Like oh, so delicious, cookie crisp. So uh, you, Special K is trash though, so it, it, it Special don't really K? Yeah, no matter. Yeah, so I'm I'm good on it, but still, damn. You might be surprised to learn that it's actually Special K, the most boring cereal on all of the earth, Fact. that has been banned in Denmark and discouraged in the EU. How does the healthiest box of flakes on the shelf get banned? While stuff like Reese's Puffs and Cinnamon Toast Crunch <laughs> continue to enjoy free passage. Right. Yeah. Ironically, because of its supposed health benefits. In the UK, Special K has been put on blast by the Advertising Standards Authority for exaggerating how much folic acid they pack into portions. Ew. Though it's still legal to buy in Europe, Denmark has completely banned Special K since 2004 for Ooh. all its fortified vitamins and minerals. Regulators argue that Kellogg's cereal's unnaturally high levels of everything from vitamin A to zinc actually qualify Special K as a genetically modified organism, or GMO. More specifically, Special K is huh. swole with the same artificial compounds that studies have shown to potentially pose health risks, specifically to children and pregnant women. In conclusion, you may want to stick with Crunch Berries. I don't, I don't even eat Special K. Steak. You don't need to take a transcontinental flight to visit countries that have banned American foods. Just drive up to the Canadian border, flash your passport, and sign an affidavit saying you're not smuggling any steak tartare in your trunk. What? Today, steak. consuming raw meat has fallen out of fashion in the U.S., much like other foods like veal and pate, which don't make you sick but might make you sad. But while baby cow and overstuffed goose liver is illegal in parts of America now, tartare is not. See, uh, while veal and pate may be uncool, they are also served hot. Who's unlike eating tartare, which is chopped up cold meat straight from the cow. Undercooked yep, or raw food. Just, yeah. just, just the person I was thinking in my head, yep. but I didn't want to say it's it. Sound about white. Yeah. I ain't yeah. about to eat no fucking <laughs> uncooked ass meat on a fucking cracker. Tartare? <laughs> nah, your, your inside is going to be tartare. <laughs> yeah. That is nasty as hell, man. Nah, hey, I'm, I, I know people like to, to eat the meat raw or whatever, but hey, yo, <laughs> take it easy, fam. <laughs> Some people like to eat. Take it easy, bro. They like to the tartare. They like to the tartare it up, but hey, man, I, I prefer my food to be cooked. <laughs> yeah, so meat to meat. Foods can lead to an increase Raw. in food poisoning and parasitic Ooh, infections, nope. especially in beef and poultry. Sounds about right. Considering how fancy pants steak tartare is, titanic food one might say, you'd think countries might look the other way and let the luxury delicacy slide. And for a long time they did. In Canada, meat has to reach an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit, the equivalent of a medium rare steak, mm -hmm. in order to be considered safe to serve. But those rules aren't strictly enforced. That is, mm -hmm. until recently, in 2021, restaurant uh, owner- Bro, niggas is out here eating ground ground meat. Ground yeah, beef, this, bro. Yeah, just straight ground, out the pack. Ground, raw beef, straight from the ground. Straight this, into the, straight on the crackers and shit. Bro, yes. this fucking, you trying to be a little fancy? Yeah, yeah I, nah, I made bro. some, uh, some, something, some tartare. Nigga, is this ground beef some straight from who? the pack? What? Some to what? Like if you don't cook this there. <laughs> in New Brunswick selling steak tartare were all served cease and desist letters. Oh, wow. And Canadian public health officials had decided that amid the ongoing health crisis of COVID-19, the last thing their citizens needed was a side order of botulism. Yep, we knew it. We knew it. Ah! We Is there anything us in more Chimula. American than Coca-Cola? The yep. fizz, the yep. flavor, the former secret ingredient. Cocaine. God, mm -hmm. is basically apple. Told you, man, the cocaine cowboys. <laughs> These niggas bad. <laughs> Sizzling some of that. Pie in beverage form. And it's not just Americans who are a cuckoo for Coke. 
Invented by a pharmacist in 1886 Georgia, Coca-Cola quickly caught on overseas. It was the World War II GI's drink of choice. Yep. Pre-pandemic, Coca-Cola had 500 brands in over 200 countries, Ooh. making it the best-selling soft drink and one of the most recognizable brands of all time. Yep. But there will always be exceptions. And unlike the other entries on the list, for once, it has nothing to do with health concerns. Everybody knows that Coke is not good for you. We just decided collectively that we the Coca Cola company is not happy with me. That's okay. I'll still keep drinking that garbage. Oh dang! I mean, yeah, it, it's 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 not good, but you know, yeah. Fourth of July, boys get that Coke. It's over. Mix it with some liquor. It's over. Like well, um, someone said, uh, we're talking too much about them. On the cool, man. <laughs> Coach said, all right, now this is our last time. <laughs> we must be we must be uh talking a little bit too much. We're gonna leave y'all alone, Coke, bro. Yeah. We done. We 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 done, bro. We done. Let's they let's say. uh let's let's get right back into it, man. So we don't care. Much. No. The countries that have outlawed the brand have done so because of what it represents. A symbol of the encroachment of American capitalism. From 1962 to 2011, the U.S. banned sales of Coke to Burma as part of sanctions against the military junta that ruled the country until 2011. It resumed sales in the country in 2012. Today, Coca-Cola mm. is only unavailable in two countries with long-term trade embargoes with the U.S. North Korea hasn't mm. allowed Coke since 1950. Sound and the right. bubbly beverage has been banned in Cuba since Fidel Castro seized supplies Damn. in 1962. First the prequels, now Coke. Is there anything that can't be ruined by the federalization of trade taxation? In a twist of irony and uh, lime, Cuba was actually one of the first bottlers of the beverage outside of America. Oh, That's today, crazy. Cuba Cola has replaced Coke as the what? country's soft drink of choice, though Cuba black market Cola. sales abound. After all, it is the birthplace of the Cuba Libra, AKA the rum and Coke. Uh, oh no. M and guys, man. The delicious melt in your mouth, not in your hand snacks. I never heard nobody slow it down like a that. a collaboration between yeah. the Cyan Sons of the Mar. M and M yeah, we just say M and M's. M's. <laughs> and Hershey dynasties in 1941. Like Coca-Cola, M&M's gained international fans during World War II. As American soldiers popularized the candy overseas, as the chocolate that won't get your trigger finger all sticky. But you won't find the candy in Sweden was banned due to a trademark conflict with a popular national candy that oh. also features lowercase m's as its signature. When Mars introduced the candy to Sweden in 2009, a court ruled its marketing too similar to that of the Norwegian Marabous, which resemble Kit Kats. During World War I, uh. Marabou had moved its manufacturing to its Swedish neighbors, where it received a royal warrant of appointment by the King of Sweden. And here we thought the Swiss were the chocolate snobs. <laughs> Should you want to check out what the fuss is all about, Marabou's is sold in IKEA stores here in the U.S. I didn't know that. Well, Me neither. it's good to know that M&Ms don't contain any harmful dyes or chlorine residue, right? Right. That's a pretty important victory for hard-shelled chocolate. Okay. So what do you think? All Which right. of these banned all foods right, so sounds good? Well, M&Ms, you, you, can, you can rock with the M&Ms. You just got to be careful with, with the Skittles. Yeah, all right. So all right, M&Ms. All right, cool. Okay, okay. I, can, I can deal with that. We I got something with that. somewhere. You feel me? You yeah, got something yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I can live with that yeah that's that's very wild like to know that they they got dyes too i'm pretty sure i wonder how they make theirs but mm -hmm. however they doing it is it's not on the list but that's yep. why um uh if you guys enjoyed that video please let us know in the comments down below mm -hmm. uh and let us know what some other food that you guys feel like it yeah. should should have probably been on this list or one that you will probably just kind of deal with anyway you know mm -hmm. like little debbies i don't know and ch chicken for sure is like yeah this you control chicken you control a lot of people um mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say which which you know group but anywho <laughs> um i do have the app called yuka y-u-k-a i spoke about this before so if you scan like whatever item you about to eat uh like the barcode mm -hmm. it'll tell you what dyes or not that are in the the food and mm -hmm. it'll let you know whether it's, um, you know, harmful or good to eat. And it'll let you know uh, a healthier version or option mm -hmm. if you still are, like, you know, craving that. So, but, yeah, nah, man. Um, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video something that's really informative uh not only to us but hopefully to you guys as well so keep on supporting us running with those likes subscribing and until next time catch you in the next one peace out already this is from houston if you got a problem then we got the solutions and there's no illusion i made this shit happen i'm living life lucid i'm switching my strategies now they hate on me cause i'm causing casualties but why are they after me deep inside they know they can't handle half of me